Hello everybody, welcome back to these videos on coordination and response. We are starting subtopic 3.1 and this is the third video or part 3 of the series on coordination and response. Previously, we studied about the pathway of response to external stimulus. So in this video, we'll continue by studying the pathway of response to internal stimulus. You'll get to try a hot question and then we'll discuss the model answers. So let's get started. Let's now discuss a third question, also an exam hot essay question, which may be asked in the exam. So this question involves an internal stimulus. The previous two questions involved external stimuli such as light and sound. Okay, so this question is also quite a good question because it has not been asked in the exam and we are dealing with the topic of blood pressure which has been discussed in chapter 1 from 5, transport. All right, so you should have some background knowledge too of this. Sonia exercises on a treadmill. Her blood pressure starts to increase. Explain the pathway involved in detecting and responding to the stimulus. Okay, so I want you to take some time, about 15 minutes, if you are uh, able to, and try and write an answer for this question based on the acronym SRI ABI EEMR. Okay, give some thought to the question. And you can screenshot this question and then try to determine the stimulus, the receptor, and then uh, the control center, and so forth, whether the brain or spinal cord is involved. Okay, based on what you know from Form 5 uh, topic on transport. After that, we are going to discuss in detail what actually happened, and then we are going to... Uh, Look at the essay, the model essay answer. Okay? So screenshot this picture and then try to think of the answer and come back to this in 15 minutes time. Right. So in order to understand and write the essay answer, we need to know the pathway of response to internal stimuli. For example, when Sonia exercises, her blood pressure increases. So exercise caused an increase in the blood pressure. What is the stimulus here? Yes, the stimulus is the increase in blood pressure due to the exercise, right? So what is the receptor that can detect the change in blood pressure according to what we have you have studied in the first chapter of Form 5? Yes, the name of the Receptor is the baroreceptor. Okay, the name of the receptor is baroreceptors in the carotid artery and aorta. The two arteries, they are stimulated when they detect the change in blood pressure. So, what happens next? So, according to our uh, acronym, what will transmit the impulse that is produced by baroreceptor. The efferent neuron, right? If efferent neuron will transmit the impulse to the brain. Which part of the brain controls the blood pressure of a person? So if you can recall back, it's actually the medulla oblongata of the brain, which is the part of the brain that is quite near to the spinal cord. Okay? Sometimes it's called the brain stem near to the spinal cord here. So this medulla oblongata will send impulses to the smooth muscles in the walls of the arterioles. When, when the information arrives there and uh, it detects that the blood pressure has increased, medulla oblongata will send an impulse through what uh, neuron? Yes, the efferent neuron. Okay? To the smooth muscles in the wall of the arterioles and these smooth muscles here in the wall will relax okay when they relax there's more space internally because they are not contracting eh? we contract the 
size will become smaller. So when they relax, the size of the arterial will increase. Or we say the arterioles dilate. Then the blood pressure inside will drop. Okay. So that's the end of it. That's how the response is produced. Okay, so you have to identify what are the response, what's the response and the effector. Which one is the effector? Right, so you can check through your essay answer and make some corrections if you need to. You can screenshot this picture too and then check through your answer and make some corrections if you need to, to your essay. Then we'll finally look at the essay to decide or to or to let you mark it and then see how many marks you got for that. Here's a picture that gives the overall view of the control of blood pressure. Okay, so it may help those who have uh, who still do not understand totally about the control of blood pressure. And this is an important topic because it is discussed in chapter one on transport and also chapter three. Okay, coordination and response. And hasn't been asked in the exam yet as an essay or structured question okay so let's just discuss one more time and then we will look at the the essay answer right so firstly when a, a person exercises or does some activity there's an increase in blood pressure okay and that's the stimulus so the barrel receptors are the receptors that detect the increase in blood pressure and then they produce impulses which are sent to the brain. Okay, they send information to the brain concerning the increase in blood pressure, right? So here are the barrel receptors in the carotid arteries and the aorta. So these receptors are connected to the brain, the medulla oblongata of the brain, by the afferent neurons, which are in the nerves. Okay, so nerve is just a bundle of the neurons okay right so afferent neurons transmit the impulses impulses to the control center which is the medulla oblongata of the brain next medulla oblongata okay it will uh, be able to then get the information that there's an increase in blood pressure thus it sends impulses to the arterioles to decrease the blood pressure because if the blood pressure does not decrease and it keeps on increasing, it can damage the blood vessels. It can cause the bursting of blood vessels. Okay, because the pressure, blood pressure is the force of the blood exerted on the wall of the blood vessels, like the arterioles. So the higher the blood pressure, the more the pressure on the wall of the blood vessels, like arterioles, and it can cause the bursting of the blood vessels okay so medulla oblongata sends the impulse to the arterioles that causes the smooth muscles of the arterioles to relax okay so our control center is the medulla oblongata and the effector are the arterioles and the information or the impulse is sent from medulla oblongata to the arterioles by the efferent neurons or we say efferent neurons transmit the impulses from medulla oblongata to the effectors or arterioles so the smooth muscles of the arterioles will relax okay on stimulation and they will uh, dilate the arterioles will dilate okay when the smooth muscles relax so they will not be in a contracted form so they will dilate or expand and there'll be more space for the blood to flow so the blood pressure will decrease and that is the response okay so now let's look at the essay answer finally dear students we come to the final answer for the final question before we look at the answer let's try to write out our own answers okay so answer the question yourself and you can, in that way, train your brain to think independently, especially 
for the real exam day where there's no teacher to guide you. Okay, so here use the acronym SRI RBEEMR and then apply it to this question. For example, SRI S stands for stimulus, so you must ask yourself what is the stimulus in this situation? R receptor, what is the receptor, and so forth. Okay, so write the essay answer. Uh, spend about 10 to 15 minutes to write your essay answer and then as you're writing you can pause the video first huh? pause the video and then after that come back to the video and start it again at this point where we will discuss the answer okay so spend 10 or 15 minutes right now to think about the answer using our acronym Okay, here are the answers right now. So let's discuss the answer. S is for stimulus and your stimulus is the increase in blood pressure. Notice the stimulus is not just blood pressure. It is a change, uh, a change in blood pressure. So either increase or decrease in blood pressure. Now R is for receptor. So the receptors involved are the baroreceptors. By the way, baro means relating to pressure like barometer in physics now we have barometer okay so uh, barrel means related to pressure or relating to pressure so barrel receptors in the carotid artery and aorta detect the stimulus of increase in blood pressure okay and then next i is for impulse so barrel receptors produce nerve impulses or a nerve impulse a is for afferent neuron a ferron neuron transmits the nerve impulse to the B for brain. So which part of the brain? The medulla oblongata in the brain. It's a control center. So if you are a bit more specific and you state medulla oblongata, you may get an extra mark. Okay. Then uh, after the B is I. So there are three I's, uh, I cube. Well, first I is for information, interpret information, sorry. And the second one is for the nerve impulse, impulse. And third I is for interneuron. So brain interprets the information and sends out a nerve impulse. Okay, and the interneuron will transmit the nerve impulse to the, okay, now we are at the third phrase here, or third uh, group of words, efferent neuron. Okay, transmit impulse to efferent neuron. Efferent neuron transmits impulse to, the next E is effector. And then M is for muscle, so Smooth muscles in the wall of arterioles are the effector. effectors, no longer the skeletal muscles. Huh? These are the smooth muscles. So then the muscles relax as a response and this, this, the second response no, from the relaxation of the muscles is that the arterioles will dilate. Okay, And this causes the blood pressure to decrease. And that is the response also. Okay? Arterioles dilate, blood pressure as a consequence, will decrease. Right. So we have finished discussing the answer. And I hope that you have learned how to write the essay answer based on this acronym. Do practice the acronym often so that you are able to uh, recall automatically what each word stands for, what each letter stands for. Okay. And uh, you can write this out on a piece of paper and pin up in your wall on your wall so that's the end of our lesson do share with your friends like and subscribe if you have not done so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video okay where we will be talking further about the uh, more about the brain okay but before that i will also alternate between Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. Okay, locomotion, there's a little bit more to go. Okay, goodbye for now.